All right, here we go. Uh, I was doing a video before with my phone, ran out of storage space, but hopefully this turns out better because I can't. I have no screen. This is my dice camera I'm using. So here's the plane. Um, it's a Great Plains Eagle II trainer. Um, I no longer have the plastic um, stall tip caps on it. I'm doing away with those because I kind of they look like crap because they had a big gap right here when you glued them down to the tip of the wing. So. I'm actually building new ones, forming them myself. We'll put the, the angle on it right here. goes from this tip to this line right here. It is a seven channel plane, has a Fox 40 engine, perfect compression, brand new fuel lines, Dubro exhaust deflector, brand new Dubro tank, it's about a six or eight ounce tank. See right in there, you can see it has a brand new receiver pack in it. New Master Air Screw Prop, 11 inch. Um, fuselage is a coral pink with a gray charcoal main part. I've got that uncovered right now because I was going to ready, as soon as I finish the wing tips, I'm going to recenter all the servos. Actually, has night flying lights, as you see right here. It's got red on this end of the wing, it's got green on the other end and has a white one right on top of the rudder. Has a Futaba Conquest 7 channel radio. As you see, it does work. Brand new battery pack inside the transmitter. And what I'm actually, you see the this colorization right here for the wing tips that I'm making, because that's actually hobby light filler, balsa collared, so I can fill it in and finish shaping it and the way they basically make them look perfect. Um, it does have three stage landing flaps. That is what that servo right there underneath is for. One of the aileron servos is out right now because I would when I stripped the wing down because it, it had been crashed. I repaired three of the ribs in it, replaced them completely, and the fuselage during the crash did get cracked, but it is repaired. And as you can see, it was right in here, and you can't even tell where it was at. I believe it was right here. Actually split the fuselage, I epoxied it, and used clamps and wax paper to clamp it tight together so that it would actually, won't be visible. The plane is all balsa and ply, so. And, um, you know, that's the plane. Uh, if anybody's interested, um, I'm actually looking to either sell or trade this plane for about probably about 350 or the, you know what the best offer is. I'm I'm selling it because I want to either sell it or trade it off for anyone with a Nitro Monster truck. So anybody interested, just let me know. Um, you can find me on um, the forum I'm on is rchelp.com. Um, excellent website. So feel free to come on by, join up and introduce yourself tell them and my name i go by wolfman76 on the forum so you'll know me the owner of the site his name is tony and he actually his name on the site is tony so he's the founder and creator of the website and pretty much i can say hands down is the best rc information source website you can get on the internet no more friendly people on there than you can ever ask for so, I uh, hope to see you there. Anybody interested, just let me drop by the forum, send me a private message, and I'm going to put it up for sale or for trade on the forum. And uh, looking forward to see you guys on the forum, and take care.